Well, President Trump's trade pick has been questioned at his confirmation hearing. Robert Lighthizer said he agreed with the president's assertion the U.S. could do better at negotiating deals. Let's bring in Rosalind Chin looking at this for us. And he mentioned China as a key issue for the U.S. as well, Ross. That's right. So Robert Lighthizer, Donald Trump's pick for the U.S. trade representative, has plenty to say on China, a country which accounts for more than half of the U.S.'s $500 billion trade deficit. Now, of course, he shares many similar views with Trump about China and certainly thinks that uh, Trump will be able to shake things up. This is what he said. Between now and the time I leave and you will say, Bob, you were right. He really is going to change the paradigm on China. I believe he's going to change the paradigm on China. And if you look at, at our problems, China is right up there. But on the topic of China as a currency manipulator, he demurred. This is what he had to say. In the past, it is my judgment that uh, China was a substantial currency manipulator, and I think we've lost a lot of jobs in the United States because of it. Whether China is manipulating the currency right now to weaken it is another question. So uh, that's up to the Treasury Secretary. So putting that hot potato firmly in the hands of somebody else right there. But he also said that uh, the U.S. needs imaginative solutions on trade litigation. The WTO isn't uh, set up to effectively deal with China's industrial policy and uh, China's overcapacity in steel and aluminum is uh, very troubling. So now, you know, Lighthouse has been called the hammer before. He's known as a tough negotiator, a very experienced one. So if he does get uh, confirmed into this position, it will be an interesting uh, uh, an interesting argument between him and China on how things will pan out in terms of trade. Mm, interesting, an understatement, right, Ross? <laughs> he was also asked about NAFTA, another big trade issue that the president wants uh, reviewed. So what did he talk about there? Well, Trump has called uh, NAFTA the worst trade deal maybe ever, so certainly a priority there. And uh, he said that Trump is very eager to engage quickly. We know that Trump really wants to uh, change NAFTA and change the deal in about a year or so. The U.S. is undecided if NAFTA should be bilateral or trilateral and also said that the U.S. must protect what it gained with NAFTA. Uh, okay, and there's also been controversy over Lighthizer's past work and how that could prevent him from taking up this new job. What exactly is the controversy? Yes, a little bit. Now, this really uh, hinges on the work he's done in his past, or he or his law firm has done in his past, in the 1990s for China, the China Chamber of Commerce for Machinery and Electronics, and in the 80s for the Sugar and Alcohol Institute of Brazil. Now, there is a law in the U.S. which prohibits the president from appointing a U.S. trade representative that has directly represented or advised a foreign entity in a trade negotiation or dispute. Lighthouser says he doesn't believe his work violates that rule, but Democrats had said that he might need to be seeking, they might rather need to seek a, uh, a waiver from both Senate and House uh, before he would be able to uh, take up any role as U.S. Trade Representative.